What's going on everyone? Hanging out today in the garage with the Cocaine Bear, my triple motor aerial grizzly, which is now called the Cocaine Bear, because we amped up the power on it by putting on a BBSO2 Bafang 750 mid-drive motor. And um, right now I'm in here monkeying around trying to get the programming figured out so it doesn't have so much of a hesitation off the line. I want it to hit harder off the line to give me even more acceleration if I can do it. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of that today. I'm gonna plug it in and try to screen record the app so you can see what the settings look like. And I also wanted to show you the garage update, see what you think there. I've spent the last week uh, revamping this garage. It was looking pretty sad. I'll put up a, a shot of the original look of this garage. It was pretty cluttered. The shelves were full and they were like wire rack shelves. So we've, uh, we've organized <laughs> and I've taken down all the clutter on the shelves and painted the shelves and painted the walls and put up the hexagon lights these things are so cool they're so much brighter so we got the hyper light lights going on uh, all the stonework behind the cabinets added the cabinets and just made this look a little bit more presentable in here maybe i'll try to film a little bit more in here now that it looks a little better i think we of course we got a upgraded mini fridge which is i i fully stocked it as well so what does citizen drink well mostly vodka actually but if i'm having a beer it's uh, mgd Anyway, so garage has been revamped and I think looks a lot cleaner. What do you guys think? But I want to show you the programming on this bike and then maybe we'll go out and take it for a ride and see how the acceleration does. And I really wish I lived a place where there's more hills because I would really like to try the power of this bike on some serious hills, but I just, I can't even think of one near me that is a substantial hill. There's just no hills around me. So, but we'll, we'll do our best to go find some and take this thing for a ride too. But let me show you what the programming thing looks like on this. Well, here is the Cocaine Bear, the triple motor e-bike. Basically took a stock Aerial Grizzly and added a third motor onto it right here, the BBSO2 Bafang mid-drive motor. That's a 750 mid-drive. And my thought was, okay, I've got two hub motors pulling me down the road. If I can increase the torque on the back wheel, which gets the most traction, it should increase my acceleration. And it did, it worked. I mean, it is faster off the line. If you wanna see the initial testing I did, I'll link the video to it below. But it did have this just slight um, kind of hesitation in it. So I'm gonna to try to program that out. Now the first step is you gotta buy the cable. It's like 13 bucks on Amazon. It looks really cheaply made, but hey, it works. So whatever. But it comes with a USB end on it. And I wanted to plug it into my phone for the app. So I bought a USB to USB-C connector thing. I'll link all this stuff. Plug that in and now I can attach it to my phone. All right, so now I can plug it right into the bottom of my phone. I can go to the Speed app, and you can see that it's showing the status right now is disconnected. So I'm gonna hit Connect, which is gonna link my phone and this app right into this motor on the bike. So we'll let it connect. Oh, it's asking me if that's okay. Yep, that's okay. And we're connected. And I usually hit Read All. That way it's uh, reading all the settings that are currently programmed in there. So along the bottom is showing you kind of your main uh, menu things, the home screen, showing you basic motor specs. The display actually lets you use your phone as the bike display and ride it around if you want. And then if you go into the settings, um, this will allow you to change all the different parameters. So right here, the first one, let's just go to general first. Low battery, low battery voltage cutoff, you can set that. The current limit, you can set. Um, the wheel diameter was wrong on mine. It was programmed at 26 inch and I changed it to 23. Uh, the levels, this is where you can fine tune all the current and the speed settings for every pedal assist, one through nine. I didn't really monkey with this all that much. I'm not concerned about pedal assist. So I kind of left most of that alone. And then this is kind of um, start currents right here for the pedal assist. Again, I didn't really mess with this all that much because I'm not as concerned. I want the throttle to be poppy off the line, but you can really dial in this motor, right? There's a, you can change about everything in here, but I was concerned about the throttle tab and I read a programming guide. It said change this mode from speed to current, which I did. And then the start current, that's how much current is coming through the controller as soon as you hit the throttle. And it was set to like, 10 or something like that. I bumped it. It said, <laughs> okay, so everything I'm telling you, the programming guy basically told me not to do it. It said, don't put this above like 10. I put it to 35 for the start current percentage because 
I, I want the hard hit off the line. It was saying if you do that, it's going to make it jumpy. But that's what I want. I want it jumpy off the line. So I bumped up the start current to 35. I'm going to take it even higher to see if we can really get a good pop. Let's take it to 45. And then whenever you make a change in here, you just have to hit the right button. And it'll write it into the motor. Program it in there. So now that change is effective. And the motor has been altered to give me the start current 50 or 45% off the line when I hit that throttle. So that is how I'm trying to get rid of the hesitation to get the good pop off the line. If you guys have better ideas, let me know. But I've basically just changed the start current and a couple other things I think on the pedal assist. I did monkey around in here with start currents and um, I think that's about all though, really. Levels, I didn't really change too much on the levels other than changing it from five to nine levels. And then I changed the wheel diameter. Um, and the current limit, I think the current limit, it had it set at like 10 or something and i bumped it up to about 24. i'm not sure how high you can take it again the manual told me don't go above like 10 or 20. let's just take it to 25. nice round number right so there you go that's what the programming thing looks like it's really yeah, not an instructional video for me at all really because i don't know what i'm doing i'm just showing you what i'm changing to try to program out this hesitation in the bike but let's go out and just ride around see if i can notice any difference on it all right, so I feel like it is a little bit better. It doesn't have that shutter in it. When you first hit the throttle, it used to kind of shutter and then start going. It's a little bit smoother on the acceleration. Uh, see if I can angle the camera down so you can see the chain ring. All right, so I'll hit the throttle here so you can watch it engage. It's just kind of slow. It doesn't have that really heavy hit. I guess I was expecting more from it than maybe it's capable of, but at least it doesn't shutter anymore on takeoff. That's good. So we're, we're in business there. But here's an acceleration with the Grizzly rear motor only. It's horrible, ready? It's so slow. <laughs> I think it's just so heavy now because this bike weighs 130 pounds. But if you add in the mid drive, it helps a lot. That's so much better. But I think the only way to really test to see if I made any difference is to go run the exact same course that I did on the initial testing which was 150 feet, I think. Sewer grate to sewer grate, exactly 150 feet. So let's go do another run and see if it got any faster. All right, here we go. Let's get into the right settings here. So we got the mid drive dialed up to the max. We're gonna put it in all wheel drive mode. This should be our fastest cocaine bear here. So here we go. I'm gonna, and I start the timer when I, I slow it down in my editing. And I start the timer when I see the bike start moving, not when I twist the throttle. That way we don't count throttle delays, but. All right, here we go. And I'm in first mechanical gear. Hardest pull off the line in theory. Three, two, one, go. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Let's try it again now with, um, I want to put it in second gear and see if being in second gear makes any difference. All right, second gear. Three, two, one, go. Um, maybe, maybe faster. It might be, I can't really tell. Let's try third gear. Third gear this time. Three, two, one, go. Wow, that was a lot of wheel spin. I feel like it's better in the higher gears. I thought being in a lower gear would give me that big jump, but I think the assistance from the mid drive helps once you're already moving a lot more than getting off the line. Okay, one more time. I wanna to try to do that in third gear again with see if I can lean forward and get less wheel spin. Put some weight over the front end here. All right, it's gonna be our fastest time. I can feel it. And I'm twisting the Grizzly motors before I'm hitting the thumb throttle because they're on a delay. It's not immediate. The, the thumb throttle, the mid drive is pretty immediate. So, all right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. That was a little better on wheel spin.
Well, only the editing will tell if I helped any with my programming. I'll do one launch here in front of the camera too, so you can see what the cocaine bear looks like taking off the line. It's a stronger pull, absolutely a stronger pull. Let's try a pull with, uh, I want to pedal. That's actually, let's do that. I'm going to do one more where we pedal. All right, here we go. All three motors, we're going to pedal, and I'm in gear three. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go. Holy <laughs> Wow! That was citizen bike worthy there. Holy cow. That was crazy fast. So much faster. All right, we're calling it quits. Head back to the shop. Well, hopefully you enjoyed seeing a little bit more on the cocaine bear as I continue to try to get that bike dialed in to the best it can be. And I've got one other project I'm gonna be working on. I'm hoping in the very near future, I'm just waiting on parts. We're gonna be taking one other bike in this garage and making it into all wheel drive. And I think you're gonna like which one I'm gonna pick because it should, in theory, be more powerful and defeat the citizen bike. So that probably gives you a major hint which bike's going all wheel drive. So as soon as I get the parts, I just waiting on the parts. As soon as I get those, I'm gonna do that video and then I'm working on filming up an filming another one right now, finishing up, I think you're really gonna be interested in the first ever electric trike on the channel. That'll be coming out soon. And that thing's a freaking blast. I can't wait to show you that. It's so much fun. It's, it doesn't have a lot of speed to it, but it was, a, it was a lot of fun. But we're finishing up that, so lots of good videos to come. If you're interested, hit subscribe, come back for more. Thanks.